Lighting it up. He is. Big 749 world record, record squad. Yeah. World record squad. Yeah. I got a chance to bring him over here and I said to him, Was that your plan? He said, Yeah, the, the 722 I was still pretty nervous about. So right. I, the 750, I felt like I got the bugs out of the way. Yeah, you know, I told him in the back, I said, you know, I said, look. You're yep. fine. I said the left looks good. I said, but I think you can just go ahead and make sure you bury it. Set it up for the, you know, we want, to, we want everybody to see it and know that it's, you know, for real. It's a real he deal. Did. He took it, he buried it. He it smoked awesome it. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Hey, he's a, I said to him, uh, what happens when you get stuck with your training and, and maybe you hit a wall and something's coming up and you can't work through it? He goes, well, I reach out to my small circle of friends. I go, yeah, well, who's in that circle? Well, right. Steve Goggins is in that circle. <laughs> he's awesome. He's a good lifter. He does great. I mean, uh, I think he got a big future in this sport. He just really got started. I think he's going to light some numbers up. He's pretty excited. Uh, a 1950 total he's going after today. Yeah, I mean, it won't be long. He'll be, he'll be challenging uh, others. I mean, you know, there's a couple of guys in the world I think are pretty much the best. We got uh, Atlanta Pitch. Yep. And then you got uh, Jesse Norris. I think Malik's going to be right there with him. I think he could probably be down the ground by the I think so. Yeah. So, wh what's the plan, coach, with the bench? What are you going to do with this bench? Well, he's going up pretty moderate, I think. I mean, so he's hoping to get, you know, 523, 529. That's a big bench for him. Yeah, yeah 181, right? That's a serious, in a yeah. t-shirt. Yeah, he's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, I could borrow some of his bench and add it to mine because he doesn't need all that at 181. He's a monster, I'm I mean, he's going to be miles ahead of yep, people. Exactly. Miles ahead of miles, people. Exactly. He's a monster. And then what's the plan with the deadlift? I, well, See how he I mean, feels at that yeah, point? Yeah, he feels and trying to... You know, hit numbers and try to get world record total again. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it takes, as long as, I think he'll be well within the reach of it. So I think as long as he can, you know, probably 675, 700, 705, somewhere there. So if he, will he hit that 1950 total on one or two of his deadlift attempts, like on his opener or a second attempt? I think it may be a second attempt. And then he can he can decide what he wants to right. do for there. Exactly. Then the stress is off, he has his total. Yes. That's the goal. If everything goes right well with the bench, that's the goal. You, know, you don't want to count any, any chicken for where they hatch. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, I agree. Well, talk about you for a second. What You've got your own thing going on, right? In Georgia, you got your own training program. Can you tell us about that? Goggins Force. Goggins Force. Goggins Force. We're going to put together Goggins Force. We're going to put together a team and we're going to try to program for them. We're going to help them out as much as I can. We're going to show people that my program will work. Uh, we can be on top. So man, just trying to show people my way of lifting, you know, how I did it and how I think it should be done. Now, do people come to your house to train or do people get a hold of you online? They come to my house to train and they online. I do an online program also. Online. So if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Do they go on social media and type in they go Goggins Force? Yep, go to Goggins Force, Goggins Force uh, website, Goggins Force website, GogginForce.com. They also got uh, Goggins Force at gmail.com. That's my email address. Give me that. So they get a hold of you by emailing you, going to your website, calling you, well, whatever. Oh, yeah, you can call me at 770-912-5820. That's right. Yeah. I love it. Anytime. Anytime. Always now, how's your training coming along right now? I know you're post a year of a, a year, year. Are you a year out now from your uh, hip surgery? It was February 2nd when I had it done. February. So we got, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I feel like I'm completely recovered. I feel 100%. I was just talking to a Robert Gallo. Uh, Gallo about doing this uh, deadlift nationals next summer. That's what I'm hoping to do. That's what the plan is. That's the plan. I've been like taking it easy. I've been worrying about other lifters and you know, not worrying about myself as much. Just getting it in when I can. And so far, you know, I'm good. I can, any given day, I can probably pull, you know, 600 for reps. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's. Come on, man. That's my goal right now. Squat. I can believe it or not, I can squat again. So that's been good. And the squat's not bothering the hip too much. No, squat feels great. Really? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling good right now. I'm just, you know, I just need to implement a plan, put it together, and then stick to it. Yeah. You know, you're trying to work with everybody else. And you're putting on meets. And I also the state chairman of Georgia USDA. So got a lot of different things going on I'm trying to do.
So myself, I kind of put myself last a little bit. Yeah. Take care of business. Yeah. Help people out. Coach. Take care of people like you. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you got going on in the future with the with the USPA? Because Steve Dennison made a big announcement here with me on on Thursday that 2016 is going to be a big year for you with the USPA because of something in particular. Can you tell people what Oh, most test? definitely. We, we uh, raw, USPA Raw Nationals drug test will be in uh, Atlanta, Georgia next year. That's awesome. Yeah, we're looking to open that up. Yeah. And they started with, uh, USPA is starting to have drug tested meets also, in addition to the non test So they're going to have both. And what he said was that if you, for whatever reason, came up positive, you wouldn't be banned from the federation. You would just go back into the other class. Exactly. If you, ever, if you come up positive one time, you can never lift in the drug test division again. You can only lift in the, uh, the, the non test division. But just, they did not play any games. If you, if you come up hot, you just won't be able to lift in the drug test again. So if we're doing it pretty serious. We're not joking around. It's going to be a serious thing. And how often do you run meets out in Georgia? Next year, I plan on having five meets. Five meets. So yeah. every other so month? Five, every, or every, five or more, yeah. Like every uh, every couple of months. Exactly. Or yeah. okay. Okay. Now uh, I know you got a lot going on, so if you can, maybe today after Malik benches or after the deadlift, we'll bring you back over and we'll talk about maybe your observation of all this today, how you what how you went about coaching him, and talk a little bit of strategy. Team Dennis was on a great meet. Everything's going well. Yeah, real smooth. Yeah. Real smooth. Thanks, Gary. Thank you for your time, my friend. Yeah. Russell